Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the switch statement, which is something we use to make decisions in C programs. In a previous video we talked about the if statement, which is a yes or no question or true or false question. But when we have uh, multiple different possibilities that we want to uh, be able to evaluate and then branch the program from, that's when we'll use a switch statement. Uh, for example, if we had some kind of uh, uh, user input where there are multiple choices uh, or if we for example we have a state machine in a control system where we might have a value that represents uh, different con sets of conditions in a control system and we want to do different things based on those different sets of conditions we'll use a switch statement and to create a what's called a state machine so um, let's go ahead and get started with a switch statement Okay, here I've created a very short program just to demonstrate the, sh the, the switch statement. Uh, we're using the stdio library, uh, and that's just to print some uh, 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 strings onto the screen to demonstrate you know, where we're at in the program. Um, right here, I'm creating an integer uh, variable called option, uh, but let's just imagine that this option is some kind of user input or some some kind of value that represents a state in a control system. Okay, here we'll just manually input it for demonstration purposes. But let's imagine this is just something that that changes with uh, either user input or some kind of sensor value. And uh, so next, uh, the only other part of this program is the actual switch statement. And we use it just like uh, the if statement that we did earlier. So it's switch. And then in parentheses, we put in the name of the variable that we want to base our decision on. Uh, and, it, and in this case, we're, we called that option. We could call that uh, anything we want, but it does need to be an integer value. And then uh, we... Um, it looks at that value and then it matches mm -hmm. that value uh, with the case number. And you see I have case zero, case one, case two here. And so this is going to look for either uh, this is going to look for either a zero, one, two, and then branch to that part of this of this uh, program here. Uh, so uh, so this is how we actually create each case uh, just uh, within the squiggly brackets here uh, we uh, indent one level and then I create case zero and then a colon not a semicolon and then on the next line uh, it's a good idea to, to indent again and then we create any code we want here uh, when that uh, when uh, option equals zero then this code will execute Okay, and then if we don't want any of the rest of the code to execute, we want we need to put in this break statement followed by a semicolon. What break does is once uh, when the program reaches this line, it will skip all of this and and go to this point right here after the squiggly bracket in the program. Okay, if we forget that break statement, it'll execute the next the next case. So be be aware of that. The, the uh, and so you can see the only thing I'm doing in here is I'm printing a string on the screen screen and I'm not using any variable inputs to that so you can see that uh, if you see the zero here it's because it's executing this line right here and if you see a one it's executing this line and so on uh, the, the last thing we want to do is that the last part of any switch statement you want to create a default um, now, integer can be a lot of different numbers, and if there's some kind of error or glitch uh, where there's a, a, a value that's not represented here, uh, this is where you'll handle any errors. And in this case, I'm just printing to the screen that uh, invalid option selected because uh, the option was not equal to either 0, 1, or 2. And if it's not equal to 0, 1, or 2, it'll execute the default. Now we could have literally a million cases in this single switch statement and do different things in each one. That, that's, that would be perfectly legal, although it might not be the most uh, the, or the best thing to do. Uh, but so that's the default. Let's go ahead and run it. So right now option is set to zero and I'm just going to go ahead and build this and uh, run it and you can see that it just executing case zero code. 
All right, and for demonstration purposes, let me change this to two and then build again. And let's just imagine there is some other part of the program that's actually changing that value. Uh, you see executing case two code. Uh, and then let's represent, uh, demonstrate what happens if there's an error. So let's just say 500. Uh, again, build, run, say invalid option selected. Now let me show you what happens uh, if we forget the break statement. Let's just say, uh, uh, and you can comment things out by in Genie by hitting Control E, and that comments out that that line. Control E. Control E. Now if we return this back to zero, you'll see that every line is going to execute because there's no break statement. What it'll do is uh, it will it will go to uh, it'll, it'll just run all of them. I'll just show you how that works right now. So I executed all of them. Now some in some cases maybe we might have a situation where uh, we uh, it, let, let's just say that we only want this one to execute sometimes and then the rest of the time it, we want it then execute in order. So we, we could actually intentionally uh, take out the uh, some of the, uh, the the break statements and uh, and cause it to do different things here. So we could do something like that. And in this case, if, if it's case zero, then it'll execute this and then break out. But if it's any others, then it'll execute them in, in order, just like that. So there, it skipped the zero, but it uh, executed the rest. Um, or we could do something like this. could uh, say, uh, and in this case, it's going to execute this one, execute this one, then it's going to break out. There you go. And so that's how the switch statement works. And you see there's a lot of flexibility there. Uh, you can get real creative. You can, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, embed uh, other switch statements within switch statements. Uh, you could also you can call functions from within these the each each case, um, and uh, so this gives you a lot of flexibility to kind of branch the program in different directions based on a an integer value from a variable. So that's about it. Uh, hope you liked this video. Please subscribe, and we'll talk again soon.